The key to understanding climate change patterns could be hovering right above us. In this Earth 8 report, News 8's Netta Aranpour shows us why local researchers are making clouds the center of their latest study. The marine layer here in San Diego, quite a common sight, and it does determine our weather. If it burns off quickly, we tend to get warmer earlier in the day. Well, now researchers here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography will be studying our marine layer and other low clouds to determine warming on a global scale. This NASA simulation shows clouds over the Earth, and while they're quite mesmerizing, they're also important. They determine our weather, from temperature changes to wind and major events like rain, snow, hurricanes. It all starts with clouds. Living in San Diego, we know a thing or two about them. That marine layer can make for a gray and muggy beach day, but it often leaves our deserts high and dry. While it's part of our daily lives, there hasn't been much ability to study it and how it impacts our climate. Until now, researchers like Assistant Professor of Climate Science Nicholas Lutzko can gauge the changes of clouds and turn our climate over months and over years, all thanks to a new award of over 400 grand by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA. We have a lot of trouble measuring clouds. Um, we mainly use satellite data. His office, Scripps Institution of Oceanography in La Jolla, gets coated in that marine layer quite frequently. You may know it as June gloom or May gray, but why is it important to know if those clouds are changing over time? A small amount, a small change in the um, amount of clouds in the atmosphere can cause a huge warming or a huge cooling. The less clouds, the more solar radiation, which warms the Earth. Experts already see this happening over a large part of our ocean. The more we warm up, the less clouds. And with less clouds, the more we warm up. We know the Earth is going to warm up as a result of increased uh, carbon dioxide um, concentrations in the atmosphere. Um, but we don't know how much. Nicholas believes we need to learn the urgency. We already know we're in a climate crisis with the depletion of the ozone heating up the Earth's surface. But by how much will we heat up and why does that matter? The huge deal. Trillions of dollars rest on, on how clouds uh, change in the future. What happens in our skies can lead to melting glaciers, rising sea levels and extreme weather events. That's going to have huge societal and economic impacts. They'll mainly study subtropical low clouds. They believe this is the hot spot for climate change, and that's why San Diego's a perfect spot for this study. Now, there's a fascinating history when it comes to clouds here at Scripps. The first ever recorded measurement of clouds happened right here by a scientist back in 1989. So as Nicholas says, they'll now be able to build on that legacy.